Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today, I am going to be sharing the ultimate drugstore wash day routine, which is the wash day routine that I would follow if I was no longer able to use my higher end products. So let's jump right into it. All right, the first two products that I have to recommend are actually the exact same as my last wash day routine video because they're already affordable. So no need for me to find alternatives for these. And in this video, I'm really just going to be focusing on the products that I'm recommending and the order in which I would use them versus walking through every single specific application technique because I already did that in my last wash day routine video. So if you haven't seen that yet, I will list that below. Otherwise, let's get on with it. All right, first up is my pre-shampoo oil treatment and I am still using and loving the OGX Coconut Miracle Oil. This is such a great oil for this step because it contains ingredients like silicones, coconut oil, and safflower seed oil. So I will basically just saturate my lengths and ends in this oil before washing and I like to focus the product from about my chin all the way down to my ends. I don't like to apply it above that because I do have an oily scalp. And these are the areas, the areas. This is the section of my hair that I'm trying to protect knowing that it is the most damaged. Love this oil, whether it's a high-end wash day routine or a drugstore wash day routine, so had to include it. After that, I like to apply a pre-shampoo exfoliating treatment. And again, this is a repeat from my last video. It is the Inky List Salicylic Acid Exfoliating Scalp Treatment. This contains 2% salicylic acid, fluidy pure, and panthenol, so an ingredient to help to gently exfoliate, remove buildup, and oil on top of ingredients that will help to calm, soothe, and relieve itch on the scalp, which is why I love this so much. So again, I will apply a generous amount of this all over my scalp, massage it in really well for a few minutes, and then let this sit in my hair for at least 30 minutes, if not longer, sometimes overnight before washing it out. All right, now we are ready to start the washing process. So for me, the first thing that I like to do is apply a clarifying shampoo, but this is definitely an optional step. It just depends on the level of oil and buildup that you have on your scalp. So if you don't have a lot of buildup, if you have a dry scalp, feel free to skip this and not use a clarifying shampoo in your routine. My personal favorite clarifying shampoo from the drugstore is the Kristen S Deep Clean Clarifying Shampoo. What I really love about this shampoo is that it definitely does contain ingredients that will actually give you that deep clean that it claims to, including things like sodium laureth sulfate and sodium laurel sulfate. This also has some nice chelating agents in it to help to remove hard water deposits like metals and minerals, including citric acid and tetrasodium EDTA but it also has other ingredients in it to help to offset any potential stripping effects of those sulfates. Ingredients that are really softening and nourishing like castor oil, avocado oil, sunflower seed oil, and mango seed butter. So this for me definitely gives me a really nice deep cleanse, but my hair never feels stripped after using it. So while social media and hair care marketing have definitely tried to train us to be afraid of sulfates and avoid them at all costs, I think that this product is a perfect example of where sulfates can be done right and serve their purpose without causing damage. So I love this shampoo. But for those of you that are looking for a non-clarifying shampoo, this is definitely my top recommendation. It is the L'Oreal Ever Pure Bond Strengthening Shampoo. You guys know I always have to double shampoo whenever I wash my hair. So you could either double shampoo with a clarifying shampoo, shampoo first with the clarifying shampoo, and second with this one from L'Oreal, or do your double shampoo with this one. Totally depends, again, on your scalp type and the level of oil and buildup that you have. This bond strengthening range from L'Oreal has such nice ingredients for damaged hair. I always recommend this as a drugstore option whenever anyone asks, but also says that they have really damaged hair. It's perfectly formulated for that. So this shampoo contains ingredients like citric acid, amodimethicone, quaternary ammonium compounds, and salicylic acid. So good. So great shampoo, but one that I do personally always use in combination with a clarifying shampoo because I feel like this by itself is just not quite enough for me. It's definitely not one of those that makes my hair look greasy immediately after using, but to get the level of clean that I want, I just feel like it goes best with a clarifying shampoo on my scalp because I'm an oily gal. Next, as much as I wish I could give you guys a drugstore option for bond repair like Olaplex or K18, at this time, I personally feel that there's nothing at the drugstore that can actually rebuild broken bonds like those products can. And don't get me wrong, there are definitely some products at the drugstore that do have really great ingredients for damaged hair. Some of those claim to rebuild broken bonds, some of them don't, but overall I would say that they are better categorized as K18 
conditioning products and not bond building products. So that's why I feel like I can't really give a recommendation in that specific category, but I do have a product here that I am going to recommend that can just help to improve the appearance and feel of damaged hair. Another actually, before I jump into that, that I would definitely recommend is one that I have recently reviewed. It is the Eliza Vecca CER-100 Collagen Ceramide Coating Protein Treatment. This one is super affordable, but it's not technically drugstore, so I didn't want to include it in this video. I wanted to just keep this to things that you can actually pick up in stores for the purpose of convenience, but this is an incredible product and one that I think is really great for exactly what I was just talking about. Has amazing ingredients for damaged hair. It really helps to protect and condition damaged hair, but it's not necessarily rebuilding broken bonds. So I will list my review on this in the description box below, along with a link to it if you're interested in picking it up. Amazing, but again, wanted to give a drugstore rack. And that product is the L'Oreal Everpure Glossing in Shower Acidic Glaze. The ingredient highlights in this glaze include two really nice oils, coconut oil and argan oil, both of which are great for damaged hair, and two acids, tartaric acid, is that tartaric or tartaric? I never know. One of the two, and salicylic acid. And those two acids are what gives this glaze the acidic pH between four and five, and that is what is really going to help to flatten the cuticle on damaged hair, make our hair look smoother, make it feel softer and silkier, help to minimize frizz, help to decrease porosity, etc. So again, while it's not rebuilding broken bonds, it definitely is something that is helpful for hair damage. So this is how L'Oreal recommends using this glaze. You'll want to shampoo first, then spray this on the hair, leave it in for one to three minutes, don't rinse, apply conditioner, then rinse and you're good to go. So I like to apply this to the same areas of my hair as my pre-shampoo oil treatment. Because this does have oils in it, I find that it can make my hair look greasy if I apply it too close to the root. So I will aim for like chin length all the way down to my ends. And I think that this is great because it's a nice easy product to incorporate that can really allow you to see some nice improvement in your hair. All right, we only have a hair mask and conditioner left, but what I would say about those products in addition to the glaze that I just talked about is that you don't have to use all three. This is kind of what I explained in my last wash day routine with shine rinses. You definitely can use all three if you would like to, but you don't have to. You could stick to just the glaze and a mask, just the glaze and a conditioner, or you could skip the glaze and just do conditioner and a hair mask. It really is just up to you and what you prefer and what works best for you and your hair. But a mask that I think is really great is the Eva NYC Therapy Session Hair Mask. Ingredient highlights in this include quaternary ammonium compounds, jojoba oil, and argon oil, so some nice conditioning softening ingredients. And the texture of this is super nice. It's very, very dense. It deeply conditions the hair, and it always leaves my hair feeling really, really soft and smooth and easy to detail easy to detangle, no, easy to detangle after I use it. Thinking about it now, I actually feel like the texture of it is pretty comparable to something like the Amika Soul Food Mask, if you have ever tried that, where it's just that like thick, dense, deeply conditioning texture, but it's not waxy, it's not something that builds up on my hair, or leaves gross residue or anything like that. It's just really, really nice. And look at how jumbo this tub is. Like this thing will last you forever. You get so much product in here. So if you are using that mask, you could leave that in for up to 10 minutes and then rinse. And then after that, we are ready for the final step, which is conditioner. And the product that I'm recommending is the same as the shampoo. It's the L'Oreal Everpure Bond Strengthening Conditioner. Same kind of ingredient highlights here. As with the shampoo, this has a modified form of amodimethicone called Beast Cedarol Amodimethicone, regular amodimethicone, citric acid, and quaternary ammonium compounds. So it really should be no surprise that I love this conditioner so much and this Everpure bond strengthening range because I feel like it's really difficult to find drugstore hair care products that contain high amounts of amodimethicone. And I've told you guys this theory before, but I really feel like that ingredient is just like magic for my hair. Plus, I really enjoy the texture of this as well. It is just a nice universal conditioner, great texture, easy to apply, helps to detangle, makes your hair feel nice and soft and smooth. You can't ask for much more. It's great. And with that, we have made it to the end of this drugstore wash day routine. I really hope that you guys found this helpful. You'll have to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. 
Are you going to test out any of the products from this routine? If so, as always, they will all be listed and linked in order of mention in my description box below, so it's really easy for you to find. Let me know in the comments what other kinds of drugstore or affordable beauty videos you would like to see from me because I definitely am always down to do more or if there's anything else you would like to see from me next. But otherwise, you guys know the drill. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click on that notification bell and send my channel to a friend that you think would enjoy my videos. Thank you so much for doing those things. Your support means the world. Thank you for watching my videos. I love the freaking heck out of you guys. Make sure to stay tuned for my next one because that will be up in a few days. But until then, I hope you have a great few days.